Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Path Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 4, Equipment Ratio. Classwork Example 1. The morning announcement said that two out of every seven sixth graders in the school have an overdue library book. Jasmine said, that would mean 24 of us have overdue books. Grace argued, no way, this is way too high. How can you determine what is right? Okay, so first thing we want to do is set up a ratio. So if we're going to compare the overdue books to the total, okay, as it says... No way, that's way too high. So it says two out of every seven six graders. Two out of every seven. Two to seven. Two overdue books out of seven people. That's the total. So it's the number of overdue to the total. Okay. And then Jasmine said, that would mean 24 of us have overdue books. Well, the overdue books come first, so the overdue books are going to come first in this ratio. And in order to find the total, we have to determine what to multiply 2 by to get 24. And that is 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2. Okay. 24 divided by 2 is 12 to find that. So now we have to do the same thing and come over here and come up with a value here. Well, if this is going to be an equivalent ratio, we know that the multiple has to be used on both numbers. So this has to be 12 as well. So 7 times 12 is 80. Is that way too high? I don't think so. 84 seems like a reasonable class size. So that's how you'd find the normal in that situation. Okay. Exercise one. Decide whether or not each of the following pairs of ratios is equivalent. We want to know if they are equivalent. Whether or not. If the ratios are not equivalent, find a ratio that is equivalent to the first ratio. So I'm going to do the same situation I did up here. I'm just going to do those little V's, or they look like W when you do two of them. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And 42 divided by 6 is 7. So now I need to come over here, and I'm going to put a 7 here. 11 times 7 is not 88. 11 times 8 is 88. So no. They are not equivalent because I needed to multiply 6 by 7 to get 42 and 11 times 8 to get 88. These two numbers are not equal. An equivalent ratio would be 42 to 11 times 7, which is 77. Okay, next one. 0 to 5. 0 to 5 and 0 to 20. So what do I multiply 0 by to get 0? Well, it could be 1. It could be 2. It could be 3. It could be 4. 0 times 4 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. And then if I come over here and do the same thing, but now 1 is not true, so it can't be 1. 5 times 2 is 10, so it can't be 2. 5 times 3 is 15, so it can't be 3. 5 times 4 is 20, so it has to be 4. So I will check yes, and the value C is the constant that we're multiplying by, 4. Okay. Exercise 2. In a bag of mixed walnuts and cashews, the ratio of the number of walnuts to the number of cashews is 5 to 6. Determine the number of walnuts that are in the bag if there are 54 cashews. Use a tape diagram to support your work. Okay, so we're talking about walnuts, and we're talking about cashews. So I write the word walnut, and I write the word cashews. 
the ratio is 5 to 6. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram of 5 squares. Here's my tape diagram of 5 squares. Try to keep them as close to the equal as possible. That last one's not the best, but it's hard to write with this. And then, if I were doing it on paper, I might use a ruler. And then we want 5 to 6. So now I want to have the same number, but just a little bit longer because I need one more square. So there's my extra square, and I'm going to try to line these up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 to 6. Walnuts, cashews. Okay. And then we're told to determine the number of walnuts. So we want to know this. I don't know how many walnuts there are. If there are 54 cashews. So if this whole thing is 54, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of these, we divide 54 by 6, and we get 9. So that means that each square is worth 9. So that means these are all 9. And now that I've done that, there are 5 squares of 9. 5 times 9 is 45. is the end of lesson four. Go to your problem set. But be sure to read this lesson summary first to make sure you